Hey everybody, this is Space Marine Steve from Play on Tabletop. It's not Space Marines today though, today I'm playing the Avengers. We play Marvel Crisis Protocol, brought to you by Epic Basic. Bob, I'm so excited to be here and playing MCP today. I'm here with my good buddy James. How's it going, man? Good? Excited. Dude, I've been playing this game a lot and it is a blast. I am James, Mr. Initiative as the people on the internet like to call me. I'm here to play a little bit of MCP, a great game that I've been playing for about a year now. Really fun, interactive game. I've really been enjoying it. We are gonna play some Marvel Crisis Protocol. This is the first, this is the first episode. When I was a kid, I loved the Avengers comics. Iron Man was my favorite as a kid. Captain America was the first comic I ever bought. I am playing my favorite comic book heroes, the Avengers. Uh, I've got Captain America, Iron Man, Hulk, and Thor, the Prince of Asgard. With his hammer. I brought Captain America's arch nemesis, Red Skull. Yeah. I've got Baron Zemo. Yeah. I've got Thor's dirty, mischievous brother, Loki. And I brought Viper for some speed. Yeah, which is and sweet. I brought MODOK. MODOK. Because everybody loves MODOK. All of you will bow to the will of MODOK. 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 <laughs> I do like to play Cabal. It's one of my favorite affiliations. Normally, I would like to play with Sin's affiliation because it's just super random. But today, we're going to play Red Skull with a super reliable uh, leadership ability. In Marvel Crisis Protocol, you pick yourself a team of heroes, and they are playing a mission, or multiple missions. And so we have got Panic Grips City as evacuation efforts continue and the Infinity Formula goes missing. So we are trying to evacuate and keep safe the citizens of the city while also, in tandem, trying to secure the locations pointed here where canisters of this super secret serum, super serum the super yeah. serum uh, is our place. And then uh, we've got six turns and whomever gets to the score of 16 first, wins, it's like a little race. Or the end of the game. Or the end of the game, at the end of 16, whatever comes first. We've already rolled for priority. Yep. Steve has won. I chose the threat level. Yeah. Steve will deploy the first model. Hey there, sorry to interrupt the video, but before we go any further, I think we should go over some of the basics of Marvel Crisis Protocol. My name is Tack, and I'm the producer of this pilot episode. Many of you may have never played this game, so I hope a quick primer on some key concepts will help you enjoy this video even more. This is not a how to play video, and we can't go through every rule as we play this game. The rules for Marvel Crisis Protocol are also free online at the Atomic Mass Games website. To start a game, you will need to determine the mission, which is a combination of two different crisis cards, one secure and one extraction. Today's game, the players have decided on a maximum threat level of 19. Each character has a threat level, and the combined threat level of a team cannot exceed that of the maximum threat level of a mission. Characters are represented by both the incredible miniatures you play on the tabletop and their character stat cards. Everything you need to know about how fast a character moves, what their attacks are, what superpowers they have, and how much health they have is all in the character stack cards. Most characters have a healthy side and an injured side. The first time your character loses all their stamina points, the character is first dazed. In the next battle round, they return to action, but are now on their injured side. If they lose all their stamina again, they are knocked out and removed from the battle. Each character when activated will have two actions they can take. Though, you will see throughout this video that many characters do a whole lot more than what seems to be two actions. That is because some abilities and superpowers don't count as actions. I think what makes Marvel Crisis Protocol so fun to play is that there is a lot you can do with all the characters in this game. If you are into the comic books or movies, these abilities will be very familiar to you. You will see us using a lot of tokens to keep track of things in this game, but the most important one is power. Power is a special resource that allows you to unleash incredible superpowers or strong attacks. Your characters gain power in the power phase. They can also gain power with special abilities or attacks, and will gain one point of power for every wound they take from an enemy effect. You'll see this animation pop up when power is involved to help you follow along. I will note that this video is well over 80 hours of graphics and editing. It's a lot of work, and making the visual package more intense by keeping track of power and stamina is not an easy task. Dice in Marvel Crisis Protocol is very unique to the game. It is an eight-sided dice, there are two blank sides that mean nothing happens. The skull represents failure, unless you're using Domino, one of my favorite characters. Block is represented by the shield and is a success when defending. Hit is a success when attacking. Wild is represented by the twirling graphic can trigger special abilities and usually count as a success for both defense and attack. And critical, which is an exclamation mark. This means you can roll an additional dice into your pool. 
We do fast roll in this video as we focus on the action. We also roll a bit out of order for the sake of the video to help make things clear to the viewer. If we get around to making a how to play video, we will go over the correct order of operations. Marvel Crisis Protocol is an incredible game and the models, the gameplay, everything about it, it's a lot of fun, especially if you're into the characters. I really enjoy the creative aspect of this hobby, but the Marvel Crisis Protocol miniatures are monopose. So where can I personalize the miniatures? Well, it's in the bases. This brings us to this video's sponsor, Epic Basing. Epic Basing gives hobbyists and gamers the ability to level up their miniatures through resin bits and 3D print STLs inspired by nature. They are Canadian, just like us here at Play on Tabletop, and even have a Canadian wilderness inspired Tega series. I wanted to find a way to have my characters be different and tell a particular story. And with Epic Basing Resin and Basing Bits, I get to do just that. Currently, I am working on my X-Force team and leveling up their bases with Urban and Forest Basing Bits. Using Epic Basing, I can create miniatures that are interacting with the time and place. I, like the rest of the members here at PlayOn, like to tell stories. And by extension, I want my miniatures to tell stories. Visit epicbasing.com to see their vast collection of nature-inspired basing and terrain you can buy as resin bits or 3D print STLs. And now, back to Marvel Crisis Protocol. I'm gonna take Thor and I'm gonna put him right here. Thor, the mightiest Avenger. It's only fitting that uh, his brother and he should go head to head, I believe. Oh yeah, absolutely. Mr. C. Rogers. I'm gonna go right here. So I have one major concern in Steve's list. He's big, he's mean, he's green. You'd think I would be the most excited to play the Hulk, right? Because he's big, he's green, he's mean. But I'm actually really excited to put Captain America on the table. Uh, while of course I'm living up here in Canada, uh, Captain America was actually the first comic I ever purchased. And I've got Modok, one of my favorite characters. If you play him right, he can really trash the field. You know what, so James definitely has a little bit uh, of experience on me today, uh, where we both have been playing 40K for a long time. He is a lot more seasoned with MCP than I am. So while this is not a learning game, I know my way around it. Uh, I am definitely intimidated by the fact that James has a lot more experience than me. So we'll see how it goes. Power time! So Prince of Asgard, because he is Asgardian, he gets two powerful. Iron Man gets one, Captain A gets one, and then the big man, Hulk himself, he gains two additional power, which means he's getting three, boom, boom, boom. He's got all the power. It's happening. Do you believe it? It's time. It's time. A move. Okay, Tony Stark, he's gonna park on the objective. And unfortunately, his rockets and stuff just don't have the range. Setting up for next round. Setting up for next round. So I'm gonna pick up this citizen, spending a power. Tony Stark is now rocking this citizen right here. Okay, go for it, my man. I'm gonna go with Viper. She doesn't need her full movement, but she will run up to here. Yep, use the power to pick up that citizen. Absolutely, and then she runs and hides. I am then going to use the Hulk, and then the Hulk is going to spend uh, two uh, power to Gamma Leap, and he gets to do it for only two because of a day unlike any other uh, from Captain America. So I place the character within two. Yep. Okay, and then I'm gonna spend one power with the Hulk, uh, and he's gonna pick up this citizen. Hulk has got a movement of small. Yep. And so- But he's still got two actions. He's still got two actions, yeah. So he's gonna go one. What's the movement on Loki? Medium, I believe. Plenty to run away from you. Plenty to run away, yeah. Uh, bearing in mind too that when you're within range four of Loki, you must pay an additional power for your reactive and uh, active superpowers. But that's all right. We're gonna do it anyways. See if you can answer the Hulk. The Hulk can be punishing if it's in your back line. So we're gonna just push the Hulk forward and see what James does. I, uh, I'm not happy. 
This is not good. It is what I expected. Hulk is now on my objective and I have no choice but to put a model next to it to prevent him from scoring the point. Well, I'm gonna go over here for now. We will do uh, Red Skull now. In goes Red Skull. And he will uh, master the cube. He's going to use his cosmic cube action. Okay. And he will roll five dice. There we go. And he will, for every skull he rolls, he'll take a damage, Ooh. but he will gain three power. So he takes one point of damage. But he gains three power from it? Wow. Yes. And then he will spend one power and he will grab the citizen. I think what I need to do is move forward, jump on these objectives. So I'm gonna go with Captain America and Captain America is going to move up to the super serum. Baron Zemo. Yep. And he's just going to run over here on top of this car, which should actually get me within one. Doubling up. Yep. Doubling up. And that's going to be him. Then Mr. Thor, uh, he's going to run up to the super serum here. Do I just throw Loki into Hulk? Or should I just double tap him right now? I, I got to be brave here because otherwise, I mean, you're going to run away with the score really bad. I'm going to have to put Loki in the danger zone. I am a god. Puny god. Loki is probably going to be getting slapped on the ground out of the movie, but it, I have no choice. It has to happen. He does have some defensive tech and there's a chance I can keep him alive here. So, and then I have another action. So we will do, I think we'll just do his builder. Okay. So five dice physical. So we got a strike, five dice physical coming into you. Crit. Three. For you, Steve. Uh, so I get one. Crit, you get another dice in there. All right, you're right. Oh, two. So you block two, take one damage. Sick. So um, I did one damage to you, so I gained one power. And I believe you gained a power as I well do, on yeah. top of your damage. Better believe it. So I just have Modok left. Modok is a short mover. He doesn't fly? No, nope. no, he doesn't have the flight keyword. He is size three, which is the same size as the truck. So he ignores it. The game is like two dimensional. Yeah. <laughs> you look at it from above. So he's gonna move. And then he's gonna move again. Round one over. You maintained your priority because yeah. I had the last activation. Yep, totally. So uh, into scoring. Yeah. Scoring first citizens. Yep. Players score one victory point for each citizen held by a character they control during the cleanup phase. Oh, I have two. I also have two. So we both climb up to two for a score. And then the serum. Right. Players score one victory point for each serum canister they're securing during the cleanup phase. I secure one, two, and we can test one over That's there. Right. So you score two. I score two. And I score one. So I squeal ahead of you yes. by one point. Turn one went as I suspected. Once the Hulk reached that objective, I knew that Steve was gonna have a lead. I'm feeling pretty good. Like Hulk, while damaged a little bit, is for the most part, Fine, he's holding on to a citizen, he's gonna score me points. And you know what, if he lives through this next turn, I think he's going to cause all kinds of problems for James. I'm feeling okay. Going into the next turn, I think I have Hulk in a spot where if Loki survives, I'll be able to control the Hulk. So, first things first. Most likely you will pound Loki into the dust right now, but I have some Let's defensive see, tech and there is some hope. There is some hope, yep. To start with, I gotta start with Hulk. I'm gonna use the strike attack first. Sorry, what's the range on his strike? Uh, the range is two. I believe this is the time where I will now spend three power to use my trickster superpower. When this character is targeted by an attack, you may use this superpower. If this character makes a short advance, at the end of the advance, this character is outside of the attack's range or the attacker's line of sight. The attack ends. It is the attacker's activation and the attack did not target multiple characters. The attacker may make another action. All right, so I keep my action. I still got two left. I'm trying to force Steve into burning some power so he could have to gamma leap now. He won't be able to gamma leap back to his objective. Uh, I could leave Hulk on the objective, but it's so much more fun to go chase Let out the so What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spend two power to gamma leap. How much is that? Two power? Two power, so yeah. So three power. 
the god of mischief. So I've gamma leaped up there, I'm gonna chase you. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to take my seven dice again, just strike right in uh, you. Hold on one second. I'm going to spend two power. I am a god. I get to add blanks to my defense roll. Oh, sick. Oh, baby. Here, so I got three whole hits. Block two. Ah, uh, blocked all three. Oh, blanks. Yeah, blanks. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna do it again. Use that second action and pummel into you. Yep. Ah, oh, nice. That's pretty. Nice. Not great. So only two. Oh! Come on, Hulk. It was supposed to be so much more awesome than that. Oh, there's a chance. Oh, okay, I take one damage. And what I am gonna do uh, is I'm gonna push you small. Everything's going to plan. The uh, the god of mischief, man. He's, I mean, I can't complain. I'm gonna go with Modok and we're gonna power Hulk up. I'm just gonna do a psionic blast to start. So this will be a six dice mystic attack. Crit. I'm going to uh, sap one power out of you. I take two damage and then I gain two, two power back that is for the damage. That is correct. Let's rinse and repeat. Let's hit him with another psionic blast. I'm kind of liking the way that one. There it is. Boom. Wild stuff. Hooah! So I get two. Block two, uh, and this time I sat three power out of you. I'm going to spend one power. I'm going to reroll that blank. Give me another power. Five minus the two, so three damage. So now Modok is going to do imbecile. All the world is a weapon to Modok. I will throw this truck mm. into you. Sweet. Boom. Oh. oh. You got one crit. One crit. You block two. Block two of them. Take two damage. Finally, I will spend two more power with Modok. He's hard worker. Bow to the will of Modok. Advance the character short. Oh, oh man. James played it so well. And the hog is going down. Modok will be finished after that. Now, things get interesting because, so you're dealing with the Hulk really well. If I want to stand on this objective, I cannot quite make that. But I also need to pressure you a little bit. You guys going to say, and you don't want to get aggressive with Iron Man because he's holding the citizen. I wonder if it's just hanging out. Do I just hang out? Thor is going to stand there on that objective, but he's going to spend three power and he's going to use Inspiring Monologue. An allied character can spend three power to play this card. So Thor is spending three power to play it. Okay. I choose another allied character. That character can reroll any number of defense dice this round. And I'm going to pick the Hulk over there. He's going to stand next to this serum and just talk for a while. And the Hulk yeah. is like, oh, yeah, just shouting, good. just shouting. Hey Hulk, you can do it, Banner. So if I were to enact Thor's monologue, I, Thor, think that the JBC is the most valuable. Let's get going with Viper. Is Bruce Banner immune to poison? He's immune to poison and stun. And stun, of course, the two effects that she does. She is going to shoot her assassin's pistol into the Hulk. Love it. Oh, that's a roll. That's pretty good. Oh! Oh, baby, do it! Oh, it's not bad, it's not bad. Whoa! So you block two. I block two. Take three. Yeah. And then, I am going to run away. She runs over to the other side of the objective. Ding, 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 ding. Hulk's, Hulk's getting weaker and weaker by the minute. I've got him past half already. Like this is looking really good. We're just gonna move Iron, uh, Iron Man back Iron a little bit. Chicken out. Yeah, chicken out a little. So the thing is, it seems like I'm playing super defensively, almost overly defensively. However, because there's only four objectives in this mission, I need to ensure that James and his really fast moving characters, things like Baron Zemo and Viper, stay away from my objective. So I wanna de-incentivize him from running across the table to score. So I'm gonna let Hulk score me points on his side of the board, cause all kinds of mess back there, while the rest of my team hunkers down and scores points on those objectives. I'm confused. I think Steve needs to be more aggressive right now. He needs to push forward because if I can control and kill the Hulk on this turn, He's gonna be really on the back foot with his model so far away. Beginning of the turn. But we'll do it now. Modok is gonna spend three power. Okay. And I'm going to play 
dark rain oh on the Hulk. Okay. So I can now reroll any attack dice when I attack him. We're just gonna do a frost blast into him. So four dice energy. Oh, I'm okay with that. <clears throat> Add in for the crit. Block you, it all. And then I'll, oh yeah. He's fine. Yeah, we're gonna try it again. Reroll everything. Not great. Not great. I need to reroll it. You do, yeah. There it is. There it is. It's pretty good. Four. Four. Whoop! Ah! Thank goodness there's a reroll. Okay. Firing monologue. Okay. Huh. Block one. So take three damage. So that is gonna be the end of Loki. Dark rain, all kinds of rerolls on the Hulk. It's not looking good, but he did forget to activate the card before activating Modok, and so I feel okay because Modok has already gone, and he's not gonna get those rerolls. I'm gonna be just fine. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? You gonna move back a little bit? I just love seeing too much. And pass. I've got a plan. I'm gonna cosmic blast the Hulk, and then I've got a little trick up my sleeve. Instead of just racking up more power, I'm gonna do a cosmic blast into the Hulk. Oh, You're rolling good. well. Roll. Because of the inspiring monologue. There you so go. So you block one. one. Three damage uh, and lose two power if you have it. Saps two power at you. And an additional power for doing damage. So how much does he have left now? He's only got four left. Perfect, he's dead man. So now I'm going to do the Cosmic Invigoration. If Red Skull is within two of another allied character with an activated token, they may each spend two power to play this card. Remove the activated token from the allied character and roll three dice. For each crit, wild, or hit rolled, the character suffers one damage. I take two damage onto Modok. And then Red Skull's done. And then Modok. Cosmic Invigoration. I guess you didn't see that coming, did you, Steve? Modok goes a second time. <laughs> Another round of Modok! Six dice mystic into the hole. Two rerolls from the dark rain. Oh, nice. And that's gonna be one power, please. Frog. Nice. And and you reroll that too. Oh yeah, and then the re and then the rerolls. Oh, so there you go, turned around. Two. Block three, Take two damage. <clears throat> and then I gain two power for damage dealt, and then additional power through Red Skull's uh, leadership ability. Yep. He's got two health left. He's got two health left. This is looking dicey. Like I, I inspired monologue, so I was hopeful that the rerolls on the defense dice are gonna keep him alive, but I don't know. We're getting real close to the end here. We are going to rinse and repeat that. Uh, uh, Reroll. Four damage this time only. Hey, I need to get them all. Reroll. Oh, here it is. Got two left. Oh, so if so you get this, you're if good. If I get this, I'm good. Oh. The Hulk goes down. That's not good. Looks like the green machines ran out of gas. You can place the citizen. It's gonna be just on the other side of the dumpster here. Yeah. Modok is going to immediately pick that up yeah. for one power. Oh, I feel really good now. Yeah, you should. You've got five characters to my three. Still have a guy to go, so. Yeah, he's not gonna do anything though. He's just done. Cause I gotta stay on the objective. End of round. End of round, that's the end of that. I score two serums and one citizen for three points. Okay. You score two serums and two. Three citizens. You score three citizens and two serums, jumping ahead of me by one point. Well, the game plan has officially changed. Now I can't just sit back and score points. Now I gotta get real aggressive because I've gotta knock him off of objectives, take back those citizens, save the day, of course, and win this game. Steve has no choice but to become aggressive and crawl deeper into the spider's web. We're going into the power phase now. So we're gonna see how this goes. And you still have priority. I do still have priority. I am going to begin with Thor's activation and I'm gonna Avengers assemble. Um, any number of allied Avengers may spend one power to use this card, they're all going to. Okay. One, two, three. Uh, and any character that does so uh, may advance small. Avengers, assemble! I'm gonna spend two power with Thor and he is going to four Asgard. Um, so what happens is he gets to make a move and then he followed immediately by a strike action. She is going to spend two power to use her Coiled Serpent ability, which means that she gets to roll five defense dice. And if she defends everything, you take two damage. 
And if I do at least one damage to you, you gain the staggered special condition. Oh, okay. Here we go. Woo! Nice. Dude. nice. Oh, it's gnarly. So five. Five. So I block three, so I take two damage. Yeah. And I am staggered. You take two, so I gain two power. Then he is gonna strike her. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna coil go. serpent again. And then I get one crit. Yeah. Nice. To another hit. So four. So if I can block four, you take two damage. Yeah. I take two damage. One remaining. And then what's gonna happen is I'm gonna spend three to strongest Avenger. And I'm gonna take you and throw you against the Daily Bugle to daze you. Do have some tech for that. Oh, okay. I'm going to spend one power to play Brace for Impact. Sure. Uh, you throw her against the building and she takes no damage. Oh well. So Thor is done. Thor is done, yep. Villainous trickery at the end there. Ah, Brace for Impact. One of my favorite restricted cards. I think a little bit overlooked. Super powerful when your opponent has a lot of throws, especially big throws. I'm going to have Loki move short because he has to go over the building. Yep. A Frost Blast into Thor. Yep. So this is four dice energy. Here we go. And he makes it. You block it all day. All day long. I can do this all day. And then I'm going to spend two power and he will med pack onto Viper and she regains three health. And that will be the end of his activation. Captain America. Mm -hmm. America's gonna go right here. Boom, contest this objective. I'm going to uh, spend two power and I am going to shield slam. If your character is size three or less after the attacks resolve, I can throw you. I don't think I'm gonna master swordsman this. We're gonna bank on that he's gonna roll good. And you're gonna roll not good. So one success. Uh, that's Zemo for you. Yeah. So you don't take any damage. However, you are thrown small. We're gonna go with Viper. So uh, I'm gonna move back onto the serum yep. with him. I'm gonna ricochet blast from Captain America. How much health and energy defense do each of them have? So threes across the board on Baron Zemo. And then uh, Red Skull is a four, three, three. Their healths are, Red Skull has five remaining and Zemo has five total. Red Skull is holding onto the citizen. That is correct. So I'll ricochet blast directly into Red Skull. I'm gonna spend two power off of Red Skull. Hail Hydra, you're now attacking Zemo. So we'll re-roll these. Okay. Nice. Uh, so five. Uh, Zemo re-roll. So takes four up. damage, almost murked him in one shot. Almost. Red Skull is going to Cosmic Blast into Captain America for one power. A Vibranium Shield. Oh boy. Oh wow, that is six. Big hits. It's really good. Because of my Vibranium Shield, so instead of the four dice, I'm getting six dice. Beautiful. It's actually not bad. So I got four to your six, so I'm Perfect. taking two. Take two damage. He will do another Cosmic Blast with you. Would you like to Vibranium Shield again? Yeah. Oh! Maybe I didn't have to. Maybe you didn't have to. Okay. Look at that. You could do this all day. Okay, so he's done. The activation on him. Oh, you're totally finished. So that's just wow. me again. It's just you again. How much health is Cap sitting on now? Cap has got five health in total, but he's lost two already. So he's got three remaining. We are saving the best for last. So we are now gonna go with Zemo. Two power for a steel rush. And I will pay an additional two power to make it a master swordsman attack. Wild makes you bleed. And I get a uh, an automatic medium move afterwards. Wow. And I'm re-rolling everything. Can't reroll these. One crit, and then one reroll. Okay, so four coming into him. Okay, you go. Uh, so two, and you're bleeding. I'll give you a bleed. I get my free medium move. Just gonna put him on the ground. Let's steel rush him again. And you know what? Uh, let's master swords minute. So rerolling everything. Even though it didn't work out for me last time at all, we're gonna try it again. <laughs> so two crits. And then the rerolls. Nope. Go Mogo. He takes a bunch of damage and gets dazed. And now the part we've both been waiting for. Oh yeah, Modok. Modok. Right into Thor. Into Thor. Let's just do a psionic blast. The fact it's Mystic is what's brutal right now. Mm -hmm. uh, so one. Okay. Um, hold on. Hold on. Uh, how much health does he have? Uh, he is rocking six. 
I'm going to spend two power right now, and I'm going to uh, re-roll these. Ouch. Block one, I take, take five. five. Woo! Imbecile! All the world is a weapon to Modok! Yeah, you hug something at me. That yeah. freaking lamppost kills Thor. Oh no! It's two power? City lighting! He only has a two power throw for size three. So he ganks up the building that Loki's standing on. Is he size three? Yeah, oh they are. <laughs> it's so fun to just grab a build right out from under Loki's feet and just thump Thor right in the head with it. I don't know if you've ever had a building thrown at you, but it has to suck. No. Got a crit, got a crit. That won't matter. So, I mean, I, I blocked three of it, still takes one damage, and unfortunately gets dazed. So I still have a full action, but I don't really have anything to do with it. Oh, yes I do. Two power to use extreme conditioning on Modoc. Character, to begin a move action during its activation, it may spend two power to play this card. If the active character advances, it may use the long tool. Cleanup phase. One point for standing on this serum. Yep. And I score another point for holding onto a citizen's hand. Yep. Yeah, I'm on three objectives. One, two, three. And then you also hold three citizens. One, two, three. And one point away from the win, man. To the end. A bunch of my guys flip. So Captain A flips around. Boom. So does Thor. We, of course, gain some power. I have priority still. Uh, my hat's off to Steve. Uh, he's not gonna give up. He wants to play out the game. He wants to try to really put the hurt on these villains, get some payback. He wants to see Modok down. He wants to see Zemo and Red Skull get messed up. Thor is gonna just take everything he has, pummel right into Modok and try and take him down. Not bad. Uh, so three hits. I block zero. Three damage, how much health does he have left? Five? Uh, yep. Sounds Five good. Left. Uh, is I'll just strike you again with my second attack. Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah, I've been watching for this the whole time. So uh, Modoc unfortunately does not accept your wilds. Oh, okay. That becomes a blank. Sounds good. So four. Yeah, he takes them both though. Um, I will spend two power and I'll reroll those. Takes, takes four, four damage, he's got one health left. Mm -hmm. And what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna take two of, oh sorry, three because of Loki's positioning and I'm gonna strongest Avenger. I take Modok and I huck him at Loki for one damage. <laughs> I love it. No! Bonk. Modok unfortunately is gonna take one damage from That's the collision yeah. and dazes. Oh man, it's feeling so good to finally daze Modok. Not only can we stop talking in the voice, bow to the will of Modok! It's actually a lot harder than I thought it would be. I can't stop now. Place this within two of him, you may. I, I'm guessing you're just gonna grab it. I'm gonna grab it right by, I'm gonna just pick it up by, with Thor. And Modok catches a daze token. And then Loki needs to roll. <laughs> we gotta get a dice cam. I block two. Three damage. Does he die? <gasps> no, he doesn't die. I have to gamble here. I need to go with Zemo because he has one health left. So I'm gonna spend two power to steel rush you. Down the tubes. There we go. And is he more reroll? So I add blanks now because if I could do this all day. So I take two whole damage. Steel rush you again. Oh, good. Uh, I am going to vibranium shield. Oh, no. I take uh, two whole damage. I have two health remaining. So he's gonna survive. I think what needs to happen now is I need to take Captain America and I just need to just swing for fences here. So I take two to shield slam. I'm gonna spend two to do Master Swordsman. Here we go. Whoa! Okay, I mean, it's not phenomenal. Did you get a reroll with Master Swordsman? Got him. There it is, and he also is going to be pushed small. Yeah! For vengeance! There's the second scoop. And then uh, what's gonna happen is he is going to shield throw directly into Red Skull. Oh, oh. yeah, oh. baby. So three. Physical, right? Yeah, physical. And you push Zemo away from me, I don't get a reroll. You block one, take two. Takes two. We're gonna go with uh, Loki. Super mad for, he threw his best buddy, Modok, at him. We are going to spend three power 
and Loki is going to cast illusions on Thor. <laughs> Two. You blocked Oh yeah. It. I'm just going to do a medium move now. Right. Right onto the objective. Yep. How much health does Red Skull have left? He has three. Because I have no answer for Viper and her three stealth. stealth. Yeah. You're going to get this point off this one civilian. So even if I drop Red Skull. With I'll Loki. score two points here. Yeah, two whole points here and, and one with Loki. With that knowledge, Iron Man is going to be vindictive. <laughs> I love it. Whoa! Gonna take uh, his two power and we're gonna homing rockets. It's gonna be awesome. Iron Man is going to get rid of Red Skull. I can feel it deep down in my bones, my avenging bones. Two whole hits. <laughs> Block one, take one down. Sounds good. We're looking at the end of the game there. Yeah. Dude, it was stellar, man. Good game. Yeah, so at the during this cleanup phase, you beat me to 16. It's the way that it went. James was a great opponent, but I think I gotta give it to the villains today. Super great game. Steve, you're an amazing friend and challenger. We can run this back anytime. You're always welcome at my table. Favorite interaction of the whole game is Thor just whipping Modok right into his brother's face. Thor takes Modok and hucks him in his hover chair right into Loki. Take that, brother. So, I mean, you could just picture him just spinning on the chair. No! And he dazes to boot. Thank you so much for watching our pilot episode of Marvel Crisis Protocol. By liking the video, commenting, or subscribing, we will know you want to see more of this. This video was a mountain of effort. It could not have been possible without the support of our Patreon community, YouTube membership, and our sponsor, Epic Basing. Epic Basing creates incredibly detailed nature-inspired basing and terrain you can buy as resin bits or 3D print STLs. I encourage you to check out their collection at epicbasing.com. That is it for this video, and until we see you next time, play on.